Hello everyone, this is Rita, aka Fan 老师 your accent coach and Chinese teacher. I can't believe it's been a year since the last time I analyzed League of Legends World Player doing this Chinese, and he's a dad now. And there are quite a few Korean gamers playing for LPL teams and are literally playing words right now. So today we're gonna watch some clips of EDG's mid laner scout Li Ruizhan, and also see how his Mandarin Chinese has changed since he joined the Chinese LOL team in 2016. Is it as good as doing this? But make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss out on any Mandarin learning tips that you won't find anywhere else. 订阅了吗？ Let's get started. 其实现在，现在是呃，刚开始春季赛，呃，春季赛刚开始了嘛，所以我们还有很多时间。所以呃，比起后面尝试的话，前面尝试会好一点。So this video is from back in 2019 when he had already been on EDG for three years. It's really impressive how fluent he is here. He corrects himself a couple times and he restarts his sentences, but that's quite normal and something that native speakers might do as well. In the first sentence, he says it's very clear that he's been learning Mandarin with people from the south of China. Ah, 春季赛刚开始了吗？ A bunch of sounds in spoken Korean is like high tone position with rounded lips. So when Korean natives speak Chinese, they tend to feel like it's in the back of the mouth with pucker lips a lot of time. And the zhi 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 sounds might be easier for Korean students than zi zi zi, but this is not the case for Scout. Just listen to his shi sounds. 其实，其实，其实，其实，春季赛，春季赛，春季，春季，开始了吗？开始了吗？开始，开始。很多时间，很多时间。时间，时间。尝试的话，尝试的话。尝试，尝试。So there are three sounds. Zhi, chi, shi, which are all supposed to be pronounced with your tongue curled up, but in the south, many people just pronounce them with a flatter tongue, zi, ci, si, and this is how Scout speaks. And if you are wondering how people differentiate what words they are talking about if they pronounce the different syllables alike, well, we have context and tones. Tones matter even more than consonants and vowels. Oftentimes, you never know what accent you might run into. But when we all try to speak Putonghua for communication, we definitely try to get the tones right first. But if you want to speak standard Mandarin, which is spoken and used by the most, you should also be curling up your tongue more. Like, 其实现在春季赛刚开始嘛 He used a really natural particle here too. There's 嘛啊，春季赛刚开始了嘛，所以 we use this particle at the end of sentences when we want to talk about something or the reason that is obvious or should be evident to the listener. You can kind of think of it like when we add, you know, at the end of a sentence in English. It's not really a question, but kind of shows that this is common knowledge. 最近天气越来越冷了，秋天了吗？最近天气越来越冷了，秋天了吗？明天周末嘛，叫大家一起在家聚聚。明天周末嘛，叫大家一起在家聚聚。最近我上了范老师的发音课嘛，中文发音当然越来越好了。最近我上了范老师的发音课嘛，中文发音当然越来越好了。Another thing to note is that even though Scout speaks really fluently, his mouth muscles are kind of lazy. Well, Chris couldn't understand at least. Although southern natives probably wouldn't have any trouble understanding what he's saying, but it's definitely worth mentioning that he spends 24/7 speaking and listening to Chinese. So fluency is just part of the end result of this exposure. For most Mandarin learners who don't have this amount of consistent exposure for both input and output, you should prioritize accuracy over fluency. Focus on slowing down and making sure that you pronounce each sound correctly first. <laughs> Then, as you get enough input and output, this will slowly become muscle memory, which means you don't need to think about it anymore. 
and that's when you can actually speak fluently. Of course, you can also join my Fundio Mandarin Words Pronunciation course, where I've prepared a whole plan and all materials that you would need to help you build up your Chinese voice from scratch all the way to a native sounding speaking flow. Find more information up there or in the description. Scott. Well, he's super cool. Listen to the way he says 教练, which means coach or trainer. 教练, 教练. The correct pronunciation is 教练 with an u sound. But he sounds almost like a flat T in the English word, like little, little. So the L sound in Korean is more of an approximate, which means the tip of the tongue doesn't necessarily touch the roof of your mouth or the teeth. So when he speaks really quickly, it just kind of flaps up a bit, then quickly back down. To nail this sound in Mandarin, you just need to make sure that the tip of the tongue touches right behind the back of your upper front teeth, then comes down a little bit, so the air comes out through the sides. Like, 流利, 流兰, 利率, 利利来了. And wearing braces definitely doesn't help your pronunciation. I know this myself. Being a Beijing Mandarin speaker, I never find it difficult to differentiate n and l, which can be challenging for Sichuan Mandarin speakers. But ever since I started wearing Invisalign, sometimes my tongue is kind of out of control and, and just pronounces l as n. And thanks for some of my audience kindly pointed out. I didn't mean to, but my teeth were moving. <laughs> Anyways, right after the word 教练, Scout says the word 让, 教练让我想玩什么玩什么, saying what the couch was having or asking him to do something. He also pronounces this like a very clear flap T, like an English little or Spanish bello, la, 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 la. The R sound in Mandarin is actually quite unique, but it's not too difficult. If you can properly pronounce zhi, chi, shi, the R is pronounced from the same tongue position. But it's a word sound, so we should be able to feel our throat vibrating for the consonant. Like 让人软弱 and English speakers tend to curl the tongue a bit too much, so they end up making a hard R sound with rounded lips, like in English. Red. Really. And Spanish speakers might veer in the other direction and pronouncing a flap T sound, like Scout did. Long. Long. Rang. Rang. 教练让我想玩什么玩什么教练让我想玩什么玩什么就希望大家选为人中当然后好好发挥吧前面不是打算还是很好发挥的Alright, the word 发挥 refers to one's performance, usually in games, tests, or competitions. Scout also doesn't really enunciate this word. He says it twice. The first time it sounds like he says it without the H. So just a way sound. And the second time the H is really soft, sounding more like an English sound. Hi. Hello. And in Mandarin, this pinyin H is actually a bit harsher. Like a little bit like clearing your throat. But if you are a German speaker or Spanish speaker, this should be quite easy. It's like ich in German or holge in Spanish. Okay, that was Scout in 2019. Now let's fast forward to 2022 to see how he sounded a couple of months ago. And if you are learning something, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like. Ran something is a great grammar point to learn. So Ran is like saying, since we are in X situation that we can't change, we're gonna do something. 既然今天下雨, 
，我们就不出门了。既然今天下雨，我们就不出门了。既然已经来了，咱们多待一会儿吧。既然已经来了，咱们多待一会儿吧。And 给爷冲 is a slang phrase that has been pretty popular online lately. 冲 means to rush forward. But here is kind of like rushing into a battle or a game. You might hear people just yell "cho" by itself, which means "go," especially when cheering someone on. <音>赢了这场比赛就拿冠军了，都给爷冲！还有两个月就放假了，冲啊！ And you might know 爷 from the word 爷爷 or 老爷 for grandpa, but in the past it was also used to refer to people who are rich or in a higher status, like 少爷 or 老爷。少爷，少爷，你要被我抓住啊！老爷，甭等了，先吃吧。More recently, it became a word that's used to refer to oneself to show confidence or ambition in a slightly ironic manner. 这不就刚下路建立了小优势，我还拿了个人头出壶。后面的游戏就很简单，正常玩就赢了。但这波我得收一下，这波滴滴想猜中一塔，对面好像要让的形状，但是不想撤，还是想越。没兵线的情况下，已经在直接飞进去了。大理要想硬跟的时候，闪现撞墙了。其实现在看的话，闪过去了我们会死亡的，就结果是断了这波。这墙有点问题，墙的问题。不过小瑕疵不影响，我拿了两个 MVP， 三杀加里奥和七杠零的妖姬还可以。Wow, this is super impressive. Like obviously, LOL is his life, and he lives it in Chinese, and he's good enough to commentate in Chinese. That's just incredibly good. 夏季赛、常规赛到这里就结束了，但我们的夏天没到终点，所以直到最后一刻，都请大家多多为我们加油吧。加油 is a really important phrase that we use all the time. It originally meant to top up with gas or oil, and then it can be used like "Let's go" when cheering someone on. It can also be a casual thing you say to someone, similar to "good luck" when they are going to do something challenging, like work, study, or compete in a tournament. Scout uses the preposition "way for" to introduce 加油为我们加油吧 So we immediately follow it with the receiver 为我们加油 and know that the preposition goes before the verb in Chinese 为我们加油 Instead of 加油为我们 that's generally how we will structure things in Chinese. 我为这次考试准备了很长时间。我为这次考试准备了很长时间。Keep in mind that 为 is a bit formal, and it might be replaced by 给 in casual speech. 给范老师的发音课给大家准备了视频、小册、练习。社群反馈和每月直播等等等等。Now let's look at this full sentence where Scout is asking the fans to cheer them on. 请大家为我们加油。In English, we would probably just say something like, "Please come cheer us on." We might even just drop the please. But in Mandarin, 请 is quite common when making a request, especially in a more formal setting. We will say. 请你 or 请大家 whereas in English we wouldn't add this you or everyone, right? All right, it's scoring time. We're gonna rate Scout's Chinese in terms of pronunciation, tones, intonation, vocab, and grammar. For pronunciation, I'll give him a 4.6. He has a strong South accent, but it's very on point and pretty indicative of the environment and people he's been surrounded by. For tones, I'll give him a 4.9. I only noticed a few tone mistakes that he made throughout his videos, but they were nothing that would impact understanding. His intonation is amazing and supernatural, so I'll give him a five. And in terms of vocab and sentence structures, I'll give him a five as well. His casual speech was great, 
And obviously, when he's talking about LOL, he understands the game perfectly and can talk about it without any issue in Chinese. Now hit like if you learned something from this video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And let me know whose Chinese you want me to analyze next. And remember, with Fan Chinese makes perfect sense. See you in the next video.